layman's guide to mindfulness so gail he says increasingly mindfulness is being packaged as a one minute reprieve an interlude between the checking instagram and starting the next episode of house of cards <laughs> <laughs> one company proclaims it has found the minimum effective dose of meditation that will change your life on amazon you can pick up one minute mindfulness 50 simple ways to find peace clarity and new possibilities in a stressed out world dubious courses promise to help people master mindfulness in few weeks <clears throat> and this is definitely the truth about the mindfulness mindfulness first thing that it is doing nothing second thing to understand with the clarity that what is that clarity so what is that huh, what is, i'm in a class okay let us join so what happens in mindfulness it first thing to understand that it is a journey it is not a destination why it is a journey it is a journey because the mind because the mind lives in incomplete knowledge what is that incomplete knowledge mind lives in incomplete knowledge that okay if you live with me then i'll be happy if i get some position i will be happy if i relate myself to something some object in a person i will always be happy and so what is happening in our life we are always relating ourselves to object to possessions to things so when you relate yourself to a person whom you call honey now for example you know it may be father it may be mother it may be daughter it may be anyone the moment that relationship comes the mind begins some expectation but why this expectation that is very important to understand why why i expect and we normally say okay and now if i expect you to sit properly is it wrong expectation no but question is why i expect from person from relations and from positions the answer given to us by great masters they say we expect because we experience incompleteness in in our within ourselves there is a sense of incompleteness do you expect anything from the external world when you are in deep sleep come on and after the deep sleep you say oh i enjoyed it's quite refreshing i'm very calm <laughs> no expectations no expectations in deep sleep and you were referring to the gravestone that's a good uh, uh, that will also clear our understanding that what about this body body leaves you you and the body goes to the grave the first first condition first option second option you fall into deep sleep you leave the body the nature pushes you to leave the body for some time maybe five hours six hours you are in deep sleep 
how you enjoy the bliss perhaps deeper bliss than eating the best food think of it how long you can eat five minutes ten minutes but if you are in deep sleep for five to six hours you have six hours of bliss <laughs> two things second third when you become nobody and drop the clinging from the body, the mind, the intellect, and the ego, that clinging leaves you in the state of thoughtlessness. And that is the real bliss and happiness. And that is mindfulness. But the moment we wake up, our body starts working. Who allows the body to work? The mind. What the mind ex It begins with an expectation. Why it is expecting? Because it feels the incompleteness. First it feels the incompleteness and the second thing, it creates an incomplete knowledge. So what is that incomplete knowledge? Well Gail, if you behave like this then I will be happy. So continue to behave like this. Are you a machine or a human being? <laughs> so the problem comes. You, you see the point? That is how these great masters. So that is why we say that don't allow this mind to act and expect during mindfulness. So in a journey of mindfulness, we look at mind. During day-to-day -day life, the mind looks at us. Whatever thought comes, oh, Gail is good. So thought has come, Gail is good. So you are good. But now, when I work at the mind, then I consciously become aware that Gail is a good person and the life is done. So then you live in, you start living in mindfulness. That is the basic understanding and the journey of mindfulness. Because it is the mind that triggers us to act, that forces us to act. When we have to act? 24 hours. You know, you are sitting in a car, somebody else is driving the car, the self-talk is going on. Oh, look at this person, he's not driving, he's driving crazy. What I have to do it? Hold on. I'm sitting in a car, somebody else is driving, my mind is gone to my home. My daughter, you know my daughter is crazy. What the hell we are doing? So it is the entire journey. It is not that one hour of the practice. We have to live in that state of the mindfulness by doing nothing let us see how we can reach to that state sit or lie down <coughs> sit or lie down whatever is most comfortable to you and we will not be doing anything at every step so at every step if when we do nothing then we will understand so first thing is first four mini steps you know sometimes the steps means that we have to do something the mini step first step is adjust an alignment of the body the way when you start parking the car you want to park the car in between the two lines so that the other people do not get crazy so that is what we are doing so lie down sit whatever is most comfortable to you and then check adjustment and alignment with reference to discomfort, if you feel the discomfort in the neck joint, you can adjust and align, shoulder joints, adjust and align, and then uh, hip joints, adjust and align, 
knees check the knees okay it is good it is okay it is comfortable and then uh, uh, ankle joints the entire body and you are comfortable now the second part is to change the direction of the mind from outside to inside it is when the mind is constantly moving outward to time to place and to objects then what happens then the self-talk begins and it never stops until you fall into deep sleep but when you change the direction of the mind everything stops then you need not to worry whether the daughter is crazy or honey is bad or good or something you know some illness is there your mind becomes totally free how we do it in the beginning look at the neck joint so that looking and feeling and sensation in the neck joint is nothing but changing the direction of them. that is what we do you do you park the car outside and then you start looking at the studio start moving towards it so you are moving there <coughs> then the shoulder joints shoulder joints you feel the sensation and become aware now what happens comes to the mind you know mind is constantly working in us so that mind triggers an action oh let me move it and then what happens your mind is outside look at the knees look at the hip joints feel the sensation and become aware so when you feel the sensation and become aware you have changed the direction of the mind the knee joints ankle joints the entire body and looking at the now the third point comes first was adjustment and alignment <coughs> we did nothing we recognized if there is any discomfort we recognized it and we dropped it then the, we change the direction of the mind then only the journey will start then steadiness now steadiness is subjective the mind need not to work on your steadiness do you work on the car when it is parked outside no you simply parked it so by the first two point of adjustment and alignment and changing the direction you have parked your body so when you park your body then what happens to body is steady but if the body is not steady then what is the problem oh the problem is of the mind two things don't force your body to be still why because we have to do nothing but it does not mean then you start moving the body then what should we do the first thing we do not enforce any discipline to the body second we maintain our awareness of the body when you are aware of the body and the mind is not self-talking from the past impressions your body will remain steady you know the car does not carry any past impressions so what happens to the car the moment you park it it remain parked until you move it <coughs> these are very simple but uh, uh, very deeper principles from the eastern psychology on which the mindfulness is based in practice we have to follow the fundamentals of the Eastern wisdom the modern psychology and its fundamental doesn't work yeah as far as the research studies is concerned it is okay now we 
move to the next step. Next step is deepening the experience of the body. Sensation, relaxation and the stillness. So when we deepen the experience, what happens? We raise our awareness. Then what is the goal? When we raise our awareness of the body, the clinging, that incomplete knowledge drops down. That is why we do it. And how we do it? Uh, not do it, but it is again a state of doing nothing. Look at the head and the neck and be there. When you came to this room, you all sat. So that very sitting is being here and now. Same thing. Look at the head and the neck and be there. So when you are there, you experience the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. You look at the right arm. <coughs> you look at the right arm. You feel the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Are you doing anything? No. Look at the left arm. Mentally, mind looks at the left arm and the mind is there. So when the mind is there on the left arm, the mind can goes very close to the left arm. Because it goes very close, it experiences the sensations are deeper. Enjoy that. Relaxation is there. Enjoy it. And stillness is there. Enjoy it. You look at it. Are you not surprised without doing anything? You experience the relaxation in this step. The journey continues. Relaxation is not the goal. The goal is to discover that inner peace and happiness. Then you look into, look at the rib cage. The mind is looking at the rib cage. It, what it takes. The mind by default was looking at the thoughts that makes you crazy. And now, the mind, instead of looking at the thoughts, you don't control them. You're looking at the rib cage. What it takes, nothing. That is why mindfulness is a state of doing nothing. It is effortless and experience the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Look at the belly. When you look at the belly, you feel the sensation, relaxation and the stillness. Look at the right leg. So you are casually looking at the right leg and where you are on the right leg. Where you are on the right leg, you are there. So what happens? The mind becomes closer to the right leg. You experience the sensations, deepening of the sensations. It may be numbness. It's sometime. It may be freezing. Okay. And then you experience the relaxation and the stillness. You know, my friends, sometimes we think that, you know, we have to do nothing, then why to go to a meditation session? That is also an incomplete knowledge. What is incomplete? What is complete knowledge? I'm living in peace and happiness all the time. So whether I go to a class and don't go, I am okay. But if I go, I can deepen my experience. Look at the left leg. 
Mentally, you are looking at the left leg. My friends, you are not doing anything. Remember, the grace falls when we are in a state of doing nothing. That is a precondition of any grace if there is a God. Yes, I'm using the word if. But the self-grace is the greatest of all the grace and the blessings. And how the self-grace comes to you? By mindfulness. Look at the left leg and experience the sensation, relaxation and the stillness, my friends. The entire body. Look at the entire body. You are looking at the entire body. When I was talking to you guys and you were looking at my body and me, so called, same thing. You are looking at your own body, that is, in the state of sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Looking at the body. So we are not bringing in the past information into the mind to understand the body. We are understanding this body here and now. Can you understand the body in deep sleep? No. Can you understand the body when it is in grave? No. When you, can you understand the body when the mind is outside? No. You can only understand the body in a mindfulness or meditation practice. What you are looking, the sensation is there. Relaxation is there and the stillness. Now we move to the next uh, step in the journey. Uh, we always talk about mindfulness living. Live in mindfulness, be mindfulness, live in the present. So all these phrases according to the Eastern wisdom means mind is living within. For what? For nothing. When the mind lives within, you have a deeper experience. Let us see how, how to live without doing anything. Live in the present moment with awareness of the room and the people with whom you are treating the path of mindfulness. You are living in the present moment and living in the present moment you are aware of everything at present. What is you are aware? You are aware of the space, people with whom you are practicing and the body. You have an experience of sensation, relaxation and the stillness. Now see that living within is what I call as living in the present moment, being mindful, being mindful and other phrases. So still the mind says until this point what? Live in the present moment with awareness of the space outside, the people with whom you are doing, you are treating the path, sensation, relaxation and stillness. The mind says it is outside. Okay, let us live in the present moment with awareness of the space, uh, the awareness of the space, people, sensation, relaxation and the stillness and looking at the breath and now mind starts saying okay yes there is something inside the breath goes inside 
So don't stop there. Let the mind ride on the breath. When it moves in, the mind goes inside. And you have a glimpse of it. The mind comes out, you have a glimpse of it. But are we doing anything? No, we are living in the present moment. We are living in the present moment with awareness of the space outside. That is room, then the people, then you as your body, the sensation, relaxation and stillness, then, then the breath. And deeper than the breath is a chattering box. Your mind may be chattering now. What should you do? Don't control it. Just look at it the way you are looking at the breath, the way you are looking at the body, the way you are experiencing sensation, relaxation in the stillness in the body. Similarly, you are also looking at the chattering behind the breath. But then also look at what is behind that chattering of the mind. There is nothingness, there is a space. So you are living in the present moment when there is a simultaneous awareness of awareness of. You, you see that? I use that term. Awareness of what is here and now? Very near to you. Where is near to us? The space outside. That is our room. Where we all are treating the path of mindfulness. And then uh, people. Together. Then sensation, relaxation and stillness. Don't you discover the mind is, starts dropping one after the other what is outside. When it experiences the sensation, relaxation in the stillness, and then it leaves the body too because it looks at the breath <coughs> going in and out. And even the breath is outside. We discover the chattering box the mind is self-talking. Let it, let it talk. Don't worry about it. Just talk. So when you don't worry, when you don't control, then you can go deeper than this chattering box and that is the space inside. Live in the mindfulness. Don't practice it. This is living in mindfulness, not Practicing it. Living <coughs> within is living in mindfulness. That is the key to the journey to the mindfulness, my friends. You know, one of the greatest sickness of all. is this chattering of the mind. Mind wants to do something or the other at all time. And if it does nothing, then it says, okay, you're good, you're bad, you're high and you're low, you're crazy, you know? Without knowing anything. 
So, but when we live in mindfulness, we do nothing. Right? The mind is chattering, but you are different than that. So, when you are different, we are far away, then you experience instantly that higher consciousness is given a free pass where to the body and then you discover oh I'm not the body yes I'm not the body when I I, I can find out in deep sleep, when I wake up from the deep sleep, I realize that I was not the body. In grave, I leave the body. But in meditation, we awaken to the wisdom that I am not the body. So you live in the body, free from the body. As if you live inside the car when you are driving, but not the body. That is the key of it. That is the key. And in that state, now look at the breath. The breath goes in and out. So what happens? The breath is going in and out and you are simply looking at it. <clears throat> but deepening, to deepen the experience, we should not say you focus on the breath. Why? Focus means that you are now doing something. Focus means you focus on the breath, excluding everything. What is mindfulness? You are aware of breath, including everything. And that point we never understand. So what you are doing? <clears throat> Reminder, no movement in the body. That will not help us. So we are in the state of sensation, relaxation and the stillness in the body. The body is parked, car like a car. Inside we can easily see and perceive the breath is going in and out. <clears throat> what is very important? So we should explore so-called breath awareness by three points. First point, breath goes in and out. Second point, you when the breath goes in you feel the sensation when the breath comes out, you feel the sensation. Breath goes in, feel the sensation. Breath comes out, you feel the sensation. Three points. In the third point, you do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. That is the so what are we doing anything now the breath is going on and so on okay so we are aware of it the breath when it goes in and comes out we feel the sensation so what we are doing nothing but we are aware of it then the breath is going in and in and out we feel the sensation the mind will try to trigger you, oh, why don't you change this and say, why don't you change the breath? You'll feel better. No. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the birth. Breath. We are committed 
we are aware that we are not doing anything. That is the deeper understanding of mindfulness. Now what happens? No doubt, Google is full of all the uh, great information that claims one minute of mindfulness. Those who enter into mindfulness in one minute, they are already enlightened. Even one minute is not required. You see, my friends, the point, you're looking at the breath that is going in and out, you feel the sensation of the breath, and you do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. That is the key. You do nothing. You are doing nothing. That helps us to go deeper. We definitely experience the changes that is taking place in the body, in our feeling, in our experience, and what we discover that by doing nothing, we can experience the positive changes that is taking place at this moment. The science has no role to play here, except, you know, they will put some instrument and find out what are the physiological, biochemical, neurological changes. But it is the subjective consciousness So it is all inclusive awareness of the space outside, the sensation in the stillness, and the relaxation, breath awareness, and there is a sense of calmness and the peace emanating from deep within. But we are not fully aware of the center from where the peace and the happiness and the wisdom are emanating. And that is why it is a journey. It is a discovery of the subjective reality. So when we move into that subjective reality, then we understand, oh yes. That is why it is a journey, it is not a destination.
here aware of the breath at the same time what did I say angel what did I say all inclusive awareness is the key so there the rule of focus effort concentration drops And for the sake of saying, do nothing, remain as you are in that state. A state. The car is parked outside, it is a state. The studio is here, it is a state at the material level. What is the state? At this moment, you are in the mode of doing nothing. In that mode of doing nothing, the body is working on its own, breath is moving on its own, chattering may be there, may not be there. And behind the chattering, we are aware of something we experience the state of the calmness and the peace and the happiness. Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Bring your awareness on the right palm, take your own time. Bring your awareness on the left palm, take your own time. And bring your both the palms, lift it, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms. Know your experiences, bring the hands down. Let us share our experiences. So, mm -hmm. mind is somewhere else. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Gail? <laughs> a little chattering, but then I went very, very deep. Very and deep. When you were chanting, it was like I felt a full wave of warmth. Ah, oh, oh, that's oh, wonderful. Like it, just went like that is wonderful. That's really wonderful. You know, that is what we uh, express in different ways. And one of the ways is that we have a different body. Our name is different. Our structure body is different. But we have the same consciousness. Only one consciousness is present in all. The way one life force is present in all. Life force is one. How come? Electricity is one. You can light bulb, you can use heater, air conditioner, you can run any machine. Same life force runs different, different living beings, plants, animals, mammals, everything. Same way, the consciousness is one that pulsates in every human being. So what happens when the teacher sings from that state of the consciousness, it directly goes there, it leaves the barrier of the mind and you're there. So that's why how you experience, oh, it fills that sound and the vibrations everywhere in peace and happiness.
Chattering. No, you need not to control chattering. That is what I talked about it. Self-talk and continue. You know, I'm moving my left hand, so I'm watching it. I'm not a part of this hand. Same way, the mind is chattering, let it chat, I'm here. That is to be done in mindfulness. But when you say, no, let me control it, then the problem begins. <laughs> then the problem begins. So, yeah, it, it's just a journey, it's, it takes time. When you continue to practice, 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 what practice? You practice the non-practice. That is the... Thank you. We will meet it.